بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد so here we're still working on the book Al Kitab Al Asasi we're now in volume two previously I uploaded a few weeks ago uh, lesson one from volume two just I kind of had some free time so I sat down and went through and explained that lesson and then I uploaded it but then uh, I didn't do any more lessons after that and I wasn't planning on working on explaining this book right now volume two and then after that volume three just because I've been really busy lately and uh, I have other things going on um, and because of the purpose that I originally had for these lessons was that I have a in-person class going on where we have certain material that we do in class and then the recorded explanations from this book were extra work homework for them to do to study outside of class so I went ahead and went all the way through level one and then just to get it out of the way and then each week when we meet for that class I assign them one of the lessons from level one to do as their homework. And since we won't be getting to the point where we're going to be looking at level two, maybe for six more months, uh, I kind of was putting off working on doing the explanations from level two. But because I've seen on the YouTube page, people that aren't a part of this class that I'm doing have been using the lessons from level one and benefiting from them. And I've been looking forward to lesson two and wanting me to get those videos up. Inshallah, I'm going to try to work on that instead of waiting till we get to them in my in-person class. Because I don't want to cause anybody who is serious and enthusiastic about learning the Arabic language, I don't want to cause any of them to slow down um, at all in their studies if they have the intention to be working every day and studying. So I'm going to try as much as I can to get these videos up quickly. But the format I'm going to do it is I'll go through the nas, the text, at the beginning of every chapter and read it and translate it and explain it. And then I'll go through each of the new grammar concepts that are being introduced uh, in that chapter and I'll explain those, but I'm not going to do the exercises. So I'll read the text at the beginning, explain it, then I'll go through the different grammar rules that they introduce in the actual uh, exercises in the chapter, and then I'll leave it to you guys on your own time to do the exercises uh, yourself, because that's really the beneficial way. It's not so helpful for me to just explain you the exercises and tell the answers for you. You really just have to try them out on your own and make mistakes and then figure out your mistakes and work on them. So, and if you don't have a copy of the book, there's PDF regularly available online. The actual uh, physical copy is uh, a better edition. The edition that they have now corrected a lot of mistakes that's in this PDF that I'm using here for the video. So, if you are serious about learning this book, it's worth investing. They have it on Amazon and getting the actual physical copy, which is a newer edition. Um, also, too, because I'm doing these videos... For uh, the main thing is for a class of people that I'm actually teaching in person. I will be mention mentioning grammar concepts that I've covered in that class that haven't been covered yet in this book. So if you're not from that class and you're benefiting from these lessons, if I'm talking about grammar concepts that you haven't learned yet, then don't worry about that. Just take what you are able to get from this book and then learn those grammar concepts that are being taught in this book uh, that I'm introducing and as far as those other ones that you haven't learned yet just don't worry about that too much uh, if you are able to pick up on them good if not uh, inshallah it won't harm you in the long run so that being said let's get started الدرس الثاني تعال تعال نتعرف على الوطن العربي so تعال is a command meaning uh, basically come on uh, come on, نتعرف. نتعرف, let us get introduced على الوطن العربي to the Arab world, basically, the Arab land. الموقع على خريطة العالم 
a mawqi' this is a ism dharf from the fi'l waqa'a iqa'u to fall in a certain place so al mawqi' is the place of something or a site you could say so even like uh, when people talk about websites you know they use the word al mawqi' the site uh, the site ala kharita a kharita is a map right ala kharita al alam on the map of the world John Adams, Talibun Ingliziyun. John Adams is an English student, a student from England. Darasa al Lugata al Arabiata, Bil Jamiati fi London, fi Londona, Limuddati Amin, Wal Anna, Yuridu Ziarat al Watan al Arabiyi. So John Adams is a English student, Darasa al Lugata al Arabiya. He studied the Arabic language, Bil Jamia, in the university, fi London. In London, and here London has a fatha, even though it's after a harf jar fi, it is majroor, but the reason it has a fatha instead of a kasra is because it's memnur min as sarf, because it is a proper name that is feminine. Li muddati for the period of am one year. Well, an and now you read he wants from arada you read ziyara. Visiting Ziara is the mustar from Zara Yazuru I know the writing is really bad on here because I just have a, uh, a pin that doesn't work uh, very good for this purpose but inshallah eventually maybe I'll upgrade to a iPad pencil that'll work better or Apple pencil so Yurid Ziyara visiting Al Watan al Arabi, the Arab nation or the Arab land. Faziyarat al Watan al Arabi to Sayyiduhu ala Fahm al Hayat al Arabiya. The visiting. Here, this fa almost uh, has the meaning basically of because. Fa, because Ziyarat al Watan al Arabi, the visiting. Of the Arab land to Sa'idu, uh, helps him from Sa'ada, you Sa'idu, Sa'ada to help in the Mudari, it's you Sa'idu from Bab Qatala, you Qatilu, the Mustar is Musa'adatan, Sa'ada, you sorry, don't need any dots there, Sa'ada. Yusa'idu Musa'adatan is uh, helping. And here it's conjugated for feminine to Sa'idu with that ta at the beginning because it is referring to Ziyara, which is feminine here with the ta marbuta at the end. Visiting to Sa'idu who helps him ala fahm al hayat al Arabiya in the understanding of the Arab life. يَرَى الْعَرَبَ فِي بِلَادِهِمْ He sees the Arab seeing, I guess you could translate here as seeing the Arabs in their land. فِي, بلاد, في بِلَادِهِمْ وَيَعِيشُ مَعَهُمْ And living with them from عَاشَ يَعِيشُ وَيَقْرَعُ صُحُفَهُمْ And reading صُحُفَهُمْ Their newspapers, right? صُحُف is the plural of صَحِيفَة Sahifa, Saad, Ha, Ya, Fa, Tamar Bhutta. Sahifa, a newspaper. So the plural is Suhuf. Wa yasma'u idha aatihim. Wa yasma'u idha aatihim. And listening to their, broad, their broadcasts or their radio programs. Wa yushahidu. And uh, watching Baramijat Telfaz, the programs of the TV, a television. So, some places they say Telfaz, and some places they say a television. And so the programs that they have. Wayafhamu Afkarahum, and understanding, right? Fahima Yafhamu Afkarahum, 
their ideas, right? Their ways of thinking. Afkar is the plural of fikra. So fikra is a, you know, basically an idea, a thought. وَيَرَى عَادَاتِهِمْ وَتَقَالِيدَهُمْ And seeing their adat in taqalid. Basically meaning their, uh, their habits and customs. إِنَّ فَحْمَ الْحَيَاةِ الْعَرَبِيَّةِ يُسَاعِدُ دُونَ الشَّكْ This is a misprint here. There should be a wow there. Duna, like this. Dal wow no. In the fahm al hayat al arabiyati, indeed, understanding the Arab way of life, you say I do, helps. So here it's you say I do instead of tu say I do because fahm is the thing that's doing the helping, and here it's mudakkar, it's masculine. So it helps duna shak. Without any shek, without any doubt, على فهم اللغة العربية جيدا. It helps with the understanding of the Arabic language very much. وليد مختار صديق جان آدمز وزميله في الجامعة يقول له. So وليد مختار, the friend of John Adams, وزميله and his uh, colleague. Right, a زميل is a colleague. في الجامعة in the university so here meaning fellow student يقول له he says to him فكرة عظيمة a great idea right فكرة we said an idea here فكرة عظيمة a great idea جدا عظيمة جدا like very great idea يا جان تعال إلى شقتي قم to my apartment فعندي because عندي I have خريطة عربية للوطن العربي An Arab map of the Arab world, basically. Meaning it's a map of the Arab world that is written in Arabic. ومن الضروري الآن أن نتحدث عن البلاد العربية باللغة العربية And it's very necessary now. من الضروري From necessity, something that's necessary. الآن, right now, is for us أن نتحدث For us to talk عن البلاد العربية About the Arab nations or Arab lands, you could say So بلاد is the gem of بلد And بلد can also be made plural as بلدان as well So he said, now we have to talk نتحدث عن البلاد العربية باللغة العربية We need to be able to talk about Arab lands in the Arab language, Arabic language. في شقة وليد مختار Now, in the apartment of وليد مختار هذه خريطة الوطن العربي This is a map of the Arab lands, the Arab I'm not sure what's the best way to translate Al-Watan Al-Arabi Because Al-Watan is like a, a homeland Like the place where somebody lives So Al-Watan Al-Arabi uh, I guess you can just say the Arab homeland Would be, might work Wa kama tara And like you see, right? Kama, kaf is a harf for tashbih It means like, to you know, to compare two things Kama, like what tara, you see يقع الوطن العربي وسط actually should be وسط قارات ثلاث. So this is a another typo here. There shouldn't be a فتحة on the scene. That should be a سكون. وسط because وسط means the middle of something. You know, like you could say your, you know, your wasat is the middle of your body. But wasat with a sakun is like in between two things. Between this and that. Wasat this thing. In the middle of these things. So he says, وَكَمَا تَرَى Like you see, يَقَعُ الْوَطَنُ الْعَرَبِي The Arab land falls. Right? وَقَعَ in the Mahdi Yaqa'u 
in the mudara literally means to fall, but it can mean also like to happen or just to be, right? Like here, يَقَعُ الْوَطَنُ arabi it means, like you say in English, the Arab land falls in this place, meaning that's where it is. It falls وَاسْتَقَرَّاتٍ ثَلَاثٍ in the middle of three continents. So, Qarrat uh, is the gem of Qarratun. Qarra, Qaf, Alif, Ra with the Shadda, and then Tamar Buta is a continent. So, what's the Qarratin? What's the Qarratin Thalath? In the middle of three continents. Asia, right? Asia. Wa Ifriqiya, Africa, Wa Uruba, and Europe. Al Hudud al Dualiya tu lil alam al Arabiyi here. The Hudud, the boundaries, right, is the plural of Had. Had is a boundary of something. Here, Hudud, uh, like Tilka Hududullah, these are the boundaries that Allah has put in place. Fala taqrabuha, so don't come close to them. Here, Al Hudud al Dualiya tu, the uh, national boundaries, right, Dualiya lil alam. To the world, Al Arabi, to the Arab world. Here they are Al Muhit al Hindi, Al Muhit al Hindi, the uh, Indian Ocean. So Al Muhit is the ocean, uh, and also Wa Bahr al Arab, the sea, the Arab Sea, or the Sea of the Arabs, Wa Al Khalij al Arabiyu. And the Arab Gulf, the Arabian Gulf, right? Or what in English they refer to as the Persian Gulf, right? It's a very controversial political thing, whether it should be called the Persian Gulf or the Ara the Arabian Gulf. The important thing for us is that Al-Khalij means Gulf. Wal-Khalij al arabiyu the Arabian Gulf. wa iranu min al-Sharq. And Iran from the East. wa Turkiya, Turkey. والبحر الأبيض المتوسط and the uh, Mediterranean Sea so the Mediterranean Sea in Arabic is called البحر الأبيض المتوسط ومديق جبل طارق the مديق is like I guess in English you call it a strait right like a you know a small uh, path of water right at the this is basically where uh, the where Spain and the European uh, the continent of Europe comes very close to North Africa and there's just a little bit of water between the two this is called Madiq Jabali Tariq in English they call it Gibraltar right Gibraltar is a uh, Englishized version of saying Jabal Tariq والمحيط الأطلسي من الشمال and the Atlantic Ocean المحيط الأطلسي Atlantic من الشمال from the east وبحر العربي ومضيق عدن the and the Arab Sea and the uh, Strait of Aden وكينيا كينيا وإثيوبيا Ethiopia, wa Uganda, uh, Uganda, Wazair, uh, Wazair, wa Jumhura to Ifriqiya al Wusta. Uh, I'm not sure what we call Jumhura to Ifriqiya al Wusta in English, uh, but basically just a direct translation. A Jumhuria is a republic, so the Middle African Republic. I'm not sure what we call it in English. What uh what the Chad, Chad right Chad, what Niger, and uh, Niger these are all you know the same way they are in English, what Mali, what Senegal, uh Min al Janub from the south so al Janub is the south. John he says, هذا غير واضح تماما من الخريطة. He said this is not completely clear from the map. غير واضح. Not clear, tamaman, completely. So it's not completely clear, min al kharita from the map. But I will 
ولا but I will memorize أحفظ حفظ يحفظ these names كلها all of them حسن Walid says very good تلاحظ you notice you'll notice أن العالم العربية يمتد داخل قارة آسيا وأفريقيا ففي قارة آسيا تقع البلاد العربية الآتية He says you'll notice أن العالم that the العالم العربية the Arab world يمتد it stretches out امتد يمتد امتدادا from باب اختصر يختصر اختصارا داخل inside of قارة آسيا the continent of Asia وإفريقيا and the continent of Africa ففي قارة آسيا in the continent of Asia تقع البلاد العربية الآتية fall the following Arab countries سوريا ولبنان وفلسطين والأردن والإيراق والمملكة العربية السعودية والكويت والبحرين وقطر والإمارات العربية المتحدة المتحدة means United right so United Arab Emirates وسلطنة وسلطنة عمان in the Sultanate of Oman واليمن الشمالية واليمن الجنوبية so this you know was an old version of the book when there was actually a North and South Yemen two separate countries but nowadays it's just Al Yemen وفي قارة إفريقيا تقع البلاد العربية الآتية In the continent of Africa fall the following Arab countries نصر Egypt وليبيا ليبيا وتونس تونيزيا والجزائر ألجيريا والمغرب مراكو وموريتانيا موريتانيا والسودان was Somal, right, Somalia, uh, was Djibouti. John, he says, أنا أعرف هذه الأسماء بلغتي. I know these names in my language. والآن سأحفظها باللغة العربية أيضا. Now I'm going to memorize them in the Arabic language as well. So Walid, he says, عظيم. Great. ستلاحظ, you will notice, عند زيارتك, in at uh, you know in your visiting when you visit ziyaratika you are visiting the watan al arabi to the arab nations anna al bilad al arabiya anna al anna al bilad al arabiya tastakhdimu fi hisab al shuhur wa al sinin al taqwim al hijri wa yurmazu ilayhi bi harf ha wa tastakhdimu aydan ila janibihi al taqwim al miladiya wa yurmazu ilayhi bil bil Harf Meem Here I don't know if that's a typo Or if it's just a smudge on the paper But This Is a ha Not a ha Right Harf So He says um, You'll notice That the Arab world Al-Watan al-Arabi Arab homeland uh, And when you're visiting the Arab lands That the Arab nations Tastakhdimu They use Right Istakhdama in the Mahdi, yastakhdimu. In the Mudari, istighdam is the Masdar, right? From Bab, istaghthara, yastaghthiru, istightharan, means to use something. And here, it's testakhdimu, conjugated for feminine, because it's talking about al-bilad, which is a non-human plural, so any word that is referring to it should be conjugated for singular feminine, testakhdimu. في حساب in the counting of شهور of months right شهور the plural of شهر والسنين and the years the plural of سنة التقويم الهجري the the system the the hijri system basically ويرمز إليه right it's indicated this is from رمز يرمز which means to basically like uh, to indicate something or to uh, to point to something, right? Like rums can even be like a symbol is a, a rums, rumus symbols, 
So um, here, Ramaza, Yarumazu, and here it's Medhul Yarumazu is indicated or is pointed to, is signified bi harf ha with the harf ha. So if you see that after a date, that lets you know it's a hijri date. What tastakhdimu aydan, and they also use ila janibihi to its side, like to meaning in the addition in addition to the hijri uh, calendar, at taqwim al miladi. The uh, you know this is our Western calendar, al miladi, the Christian calendar basically. Wa yurmazu ilayhi, and it's indicated bil harf mean, or you could say bil harf mean. Here, when you say bi harf ha, your intention is a mudaf a mudaf ilay, right? The harf of ha, or you could say bil harf mean. In that case, you would be intending here, just like with this with the harf, and then mean would be like a badal or altof bayan or something like that. But this is much more common bi harf ha with the harf of ha, and so probably they should keep it the same here instead of putting alif lam and maybe yeah and I think in the new version they changed that in the new edition it's not bil harf it's just bi harf meme naam laqad darastu asma al-shuhur al-hijriyati wal-miladiyati fil juz al-awwali he said yes I've studied the names of the months the hijri months and the months of the christian calendar in the first uh, juz in the first volume وأنا أعرف أن التقويم الميلادية نسبة إلى ميلاد يعني يوم ولادة السيد المسيح. He said, and I know أن التقويم الميلادي that the uh, Christian calendar I'll just translate as our Gregorian calendar we call it نسبة is a is a نسبة right attributed to إلى ميلاد the birth in here the birthday ميلاد here in in, in uh, Quotations or in parentheses, they're letting you know what milad means. Yom wilada, the day of birth. Asayyid al Masih, the uh, Messiah. Isa alayhi salam. Walakin ma ma'an al Hijri. He's asking, but what is the meaning of Hijri? Al Hijriyu nisbatun ila yomi Hijrat al Nabi Muhammadin alayhi salatu wa salam. The Hijri. Is nisba right? Is uh, attribution? Attribution. It's attributed to the day, the yom of the hijra, of the migration of the Prophet Muhammad. May peace, as-salat, and salam be upon him. Min Mecca to al Medina, from Mecca to Medina. And one thing you'll notice here, min Mecca to al Medina t. Right. Both of them are majrur, but. Mecca takes a fatha when it's majrur instead of a kasra because it's memnur min al sarf because it is a uh, proper name that is feminine. Wahua yomun hamun jiddan fi tariq al Islam. And it is a yom hamun jiddan, very important fi tariq al Islam in the history of Islam. Jan, he says, Shayun akharu ya walid. Something else, O oh, Walid. Asma'u al-awasim al The names of the capitals, the Arab capitals. So, awasim is the gem, the plural of al-sima. Al-sima. So, you can say, al-sima uh, to America, Washington, D.C. The capital of America is Washington, D.C. Here he wants to know the awasim, the capitals, the Arab capitals. Min al afdali an u'atiyaka qa'imatan kamilatan biha. He said, What is better, min al afdal, the best thing, an u'atiyaka is that I give you from a'ta, yu'ati, u'atiyaka. Here it has a fatha on the ya. U'atiyaka. Because the uh, fi'al mudari' u'ti becomes mansub because of an before it. An u'tiyaka 
qa'imatan kamilatan. A list kamilatan. This is a sifa describing qa'ima, right? So it follows it in its i'rab. Qa'imatan kamilatan biha. A complete list of them. Wa kadhalika, and like that, suwarul a'lam. Pictures of the flags al arabiya Suwarul a'lam al arabiyati uh, pictures, suwar is the gem of surah, a picture, al-a'lam, flags is the plural of alam, wa qa'imatan bi asma'i nuqud al-mustakhdamati fi kulli balad, and a list with the names of al-nuqud, the types of money, al-mustakhdamati, that are used, right? So here this is a sifa, mustakhdama, is a sifa describing nuqud fi kulli balad, in each country. So then John, he replies, he's kind of joking with his friend, he says, mujarradu qa'imatin bi asma'in nuqud, mujarradu shay, if you say mujarrad something, like this only, uh, just this by itself, mujarradu qa'imatin, just only a list, Bi asma in nukud with the names of the money, meaning like uh, you're not gonna give me the actual money itself to look at. So Walid he says back, Udarisu wa edfa'u ana aydan. Udarisu I teach wa edfa'u and then I have to pay ana aydan. I have to pay you as well. John says la bes no problem. Takfini asur. The pictures are enough for me. So kafa yakfi means for something to be sufficient, for something to be enough. Kafa in the Madi and Yakfi in the Mudari for something to be sufficient. Kafa billahi wakila. Allah is sufficient as a wakil. So he says the pictures are enough for me. So here, tekfini, right, conjugated for hiya, instead of yakfi, tekfi, the like, ni, here is the the dhamia, the pronoun, that is the, uh, the maf'ul bihi, right, it's enough for me, um, asur, that's, so here it's uh, mu'annath, tekfini, instead of yakfini, because asur is a non-human plural, and non-human plurals are... Uh, conjugated for singular feminine. Well, Anna, now, intaha darsul geografia, the lesson of geography, intaha has finished. So, intaha, yentahi, is for something to end, to come to an end. Ya ustadi, oh my teacher, hadithni, speak to me, tell me, an nidam al hukmi fil watan al arabi, about the types of government, nidam. The nidham is like the structure of the government in the Arab world. So haddithni here is the amr from haddatha yuhaddithu. If we remember how to make our amr, take take our mudari, right? Yuhaddithu. Yuhaddithu. First thing we do. As we get rid of our harf mudari, that letter that's at the beginning to indicate that it's in the present tense, in this case, ayah. And then, second thing we do, we make it majzum. So, haddith, haddith, talk to me. He says, al al arabiyu the Arab land, fafihi, or fihi, in it, anzima tu hukmin mukhtalifa. So, anzima is the gem of nidham, a structure of government. Nidham, here, anzima, fafihi, in it, anzima tu hukmin, structures of government, mukhtalifa, different types of structures of government. And here, mukhtalifa is singular feminine because it's referring to anzima, which is a non-human plural. وَسَنَتَكَلَّمُ And we will talk عن هذا about this الموضوع about this uh, Topic, fid dars, in the lesson. One thing I want to point out here, because I notice a lot of people uh, making mistakes with this and not uh, grasping the concept exactly correctly. So, هذا الموضوع means 
this topic, right? We know that hadha means this, al maldu means topic. And here what we have is an hadha, about this. And then al maldu is the same thing as this, right? It's that same thing that we're talking about. So the role that al maldu is playing here is that it's a bid. So which means is you could just say, سَنَتَكَلَّمُ عَنْ هَذَا or you could say, سَنَتَكَلَّمُ عَنِ الْمَوْدُورِ and it will have the exact same meaning. Because both of these, هَذَا and الْمَوْدُورِ are referring to the same thing. هَذَا is, uh, is مَعْرِفَة. It's definite. Because it's one of the uh, asma والإشارة the nouns of pointing are always definite. So you have this word here that's definite and then after it coming another word that is uh, of the same meaning that it's referring to that's also definite and that's how it's serving as a bedal and that's how you give that meaning of this thing. If I were to make al mawdur indefinite and just say Hada Mawdu'un now you're not saying this topic, you're saying this is a topic. Now you have a mubtada and a khabr. هذا موضوع means this is a topic versus هذا الموضوع means this topic itself. إذن إلى اللقاء غدا إن شاء الله. إذن is a harf that has the meaning basically of in that case. In that case, إذن إلى اللقاء uh, until the meeting غدا tomorrow إن شاء الله. So quickly let's just look through this list and identify. I'm not going to translate everything but at least we'll uh, translate some of the important words that are in the names of the countries that let you know their uh, structure of government. So we have المملكة الأردنية الهاشمية Jordan, right? The capital, Al Asima, is Amman. The Umla, the currency, is a dinar. Then we have Dawlatul Imarat Al Arabiyat Al Muttahida, the United Arab Emirates. The Asima is Abu Dhabi, and the Umla is the Dirham. Dawlatul Bahrain, the Asima is Al Manama, and the Umla is a dinar. الجمهورية التونسية So جمهورية is an important word. It means the republic. So the Tunisian republic, uh, the capital is Tunis, and the uh, currency, the umla, is الدينار. الجمهورية الجزائرية الديمقراطية الشعبية So here we have the Algerian Republic, Democratic People's Republic, basically is how you say it, right? الديمقراطية democratic in شعبية شعب means the people the general people so the شعب of a country are you know the majority the, the people that make up that country so شعبية is peoples uh, you know describing the republic people's republic الجمهورية الجزائرية الديمقراطية الشعبية then we have Jumhuriyat, Djibouti, the currency, the umla is the franc. We have Al Mamlakat Al Arabiya to Saudiya. The Mamlaka is kingdom, right? The kingdom of Saudi Arabia. The capital is Al Riyadh. The, the umla is Al Riyal. Jumhuriyat Al Sudan, Al Demokratiya. The Democratic Republic of Sudan. The, the Asima is Al Khurtum. And the umla is al Junay. al Jumhuriyatul al Arabiya al Suriya, the Syrian Arab Republic, the Asima is Dimashq, and the uh, umla is the Lira, al Lira. Jumhuriyatul al Sumal al Demokratiya, the Asima is uh, Maqadishu, and the umla is the Shilling. الجمهورية العراقية The Republic of Iraq The عاصمة is Baghdad The Umla is the Dinar الدينار. Sultanatul Umman 
عصيمتها مسقط وعملتها الريال فلسطين عصيمتها القدس الشريف وللأسف unfortunately ليس لها عملة رسمية it doesn't have an official currency because of the obvious political situation there دولة قطر the nation of Qatar the عاصمة is الدوحة and the currency is الريال دولة الكويت the nation of Kuwait the capital is also known as Al Kuwait, Kuwait City. Wal Umlatu Wal Umla Al Dinar Al Jumhuriatu Al Lubnania the Repub the Lebanese Republic the Asima is Beirut the Umla is the Lira Al Lira Al Jamahiriatu Al Arabiatu Libiatu Shabiatu Al Ishtirakiatu Al Uthma. So Libya has the longest name of any of the countries. They are the Jamahiriya, same as it's a Jumhuriya, right? The Republic, the Arabian Republic, that is Shabia, the People's Arabian Republic, Al Ishtirakiya, socialist, right? Al Ishtirakiya is uh, socialism. Al uh, Uthma, uh, here Al Uthma is the feminine, the Mu'annith of Al A'zam, the biggest or the greatest. So this is like the greater. You know, uh, Libyan People's uh, Socialist Republic, I guess you could say. Then we have Jumhuriya to Misr al Arabiya, the Arab Republic of Egypt. The Asima is Al Qahira. The Umla is Al Junay. Al Mamlakat al Maghribiya, the, the Kingdom of the Moroccan Kingdom. The Asima is Al Ribat and the Umla is the Dirham Al Jumhuriya Tul Islamiya Tul Mauritania The Islamic Republic of Mauritania Al Jumhuriya Tul Arabiya Tul Yemeniya The uh, Arab Republic of Yemen and then as we said before this is from when Yemen was split into two countries so then you also had Jumhuriya Tul Yemen the People's Democratic Republic of Yemen, which was a communist country, if I remember correctly. So now here, some of the grammatical concepts that they introduce in this chapter. So we have Inna, وَأَخُوَاتُهَا Inna and its sisters. So we have Inna, which means indeed. Anna, which means that. Ka'anna, which means it is as if. Lakinna, which means but. Later, basically means like, oh, I wish. And la'alla is like perhaps or I hope this thing will happen. So... إن وأخواتها إن أن كأن لكن ليت لعل حروف ناسخة. These are حروف that do نسخ. And what that means is, as they explain, تدخل هذه الحروف على الجملة الإسمية ليفيد كل منها معنى مختلفة. So these enter upon a جملة إسمية, meaning upon basically a مبتدأ and a خبر. المبتدأ بعد هذه الحروف ينصب ويسمى اسم إن أو لعل into the end of it إلى آخره الأخ this means إلى آخره to the end of the list so the مبتدأ after these one of these حروف comes at the beginning of it it becomes منصوب right the مبتدأ is normally مرفوع but when you put one of these Huruf in front of it, it becomes mansub, and we change its name from being a mubtada to being the ism of inna or of anna or the ism of ka'anna or the ism of lakinna or the ism of laita or the ism of la'alam, depending on whichever harf you put at the beginning. Al khabaru yadallu marfu'an. The khabar stays marfu, wa lakinnahu yusamma khabara inna aw la'alla. So the khabar, it stays the way it is. It stays marfu. But now you don't just call it a khabar anymore. Now you call it the khabar 
of inna or la'alla or whichever harf is at the beginning of it. Lahil, pay attention, notice anna la kinna wa anna la ta'tiyani fi awwal al kalam. La kinna and anna don't come ever at the beginning of a sentence. They always will come in the middle. So let me just give you some examples of how this would work real quick, right? If you say something like al bait, right? Al baytu kabirun, right? Al baytu kabirun. The house is big. This is a mubtada al bait, and then the khabar, the information, the predicate about that mubtada kabir is big. If we put one of these huruf at the beginning, like inna for emphasis for indeed, inna. Now al baytu will become mansub. Right, inna makes the mubtada of a sentence become mensub. So now it will be in al bayta kabirun. And now al bayt won't be called the mubtada, it'll be called the ism of inna, and kabir will be called the khabar of inna. So just look maybe at some of these examples they've given down here. Qala walid li jan. So walid said to jan, inna tunusa. Udwan fil jami'at al Arabiya. So here, originally the sentence could have just been Tunus Udwan. Tunusu Udwan. But here, because of Inna, Tunus became Mansub. Here we have Anna. Hal ta'rifuna Anna Sayyidaliyati Mukfalatun al Yawn. هل تعرفون Do you know أن that الصيدليات مقفلة اليوم So الصيدليات here is the ism of أن It's mansub And مقفلة is the khabar of أن المحيط الهندي كبير The Indian Ocean is big لكن المحيط الأطلسية أكبر منه so here, lakinna, meaning but, made al-muhiq mansub. So, al-muhiq ta. Muhiq ta, because of lakinna. Al-jaw al-yawma harun jiddan ka'anna al-shamsa narun. The weather today, al-jaw al-yawm harun jiddan is very hot. Ka'anna, as if al-shamsa, with a fatha here, because ka'anna, is from inna wa akhawatuha, it makes the word after it, or it makes its ism become mansub. Ka'anna shamsa narun. So here, narun is the khabar of ka'anna, it stays marfu. La'alla kharitata al-watan al-arabiyyi wadihatun laka al-an. Perhaps, or I hope, hopefully, the map of the Arab world is clear to you now. So kharita. Here is mansub because la'alla is from inna wa akhwatuha. It makes its ism mansub. And then here, wadihatun is clear, is the khabar of la'alla. And you can read through you know, the rest of the examples and look at yourself where are the examples of the sisters of inna and where what their meanings are and where they make their, they take a mubtada and make it Mansub, and now it's the ism of that harf, and it leaves the khabar, the predicate of the sentence, marfu. Also here, um, they have some things about the signs of uh, raf, nasb, and jar, when it comes to muthanna and jamul mudhakir al-salam, or jamul mudhakir, or jamul mu'annith al-salam. So hopefully you should know these things by now. I had short videos about these concepts in my uh, introduction to the basic, you know, foundational concepts of Arab grammar. But we'll just read it real quick as a quick review. Al-Muthanna, the dual case, huwa al-ismu alladhi yadullu ala al-ithnayni aw al-ithnatayni bi ziyadati alifin wa noonin maksuratin fi halat al-raf. So Muthanna is that ism, that noun, that uh, refers to two things, either male or feminine, by having an alif and a noon 
that has a kasra on the noon uh, added to it in the case of that word being marfu. So kitab becomes kitabani, right? Kitab plus ani. Wayain wa noonin fi halatayin nasubi wal jam. The muthanna has a ya and a noon added to the in in the case where that word is mansub or majroor. So in, to make muthanna of kitab, when kitab is going to be mansub or majroor, we get kitabaini. So kitabani, kitabaini. Lahid an al harf al ladhi qabla alamat al tathniyati al ya wal alif maftuhun daiman. So notice. Here, the harf that's going to come before the alif and the noon that are added at the end, or the ya and the noon that are added at the end, will always have a fatha on it. Kitabani, kitabani. And also the noon will always have a kasra. Kitabani, kitabani. Alamatul i'rabi fil muthanna. So the signs of the i'rab in the case of muthanna is al alifu lil raf. For marfu, the sign is the alif, like here, kitabani. This alif is going to be your sign that the word is marfu. Wal ya'u lin nasb. In the case of mansub, it's going to be the ya. Kitabani. Kitabani. Wal ya'u lin nasb. Wal jar. Also. So also in the case of being majroor, this ya is what's going to tell you that it's majroor. Kitabani. So you can say, hadani kitabani. These are two books. Or you can say, Qara'tu kitabaini. I read two books. So here, the two books is mansub because it's the maf'ul bihi of Qara'tu. I read. It's the direct object of the verb. So we have to change it from kitabani to kitabaini. And then you can say, Mararatu uh, bi uh, kitabaini. I passed by two books. So here, because of the harf jar of ba, it's majroor. So it has to be kitabaini. So similarly, we have the Jamu al-Mudhakir al-Salam. Huwa al-ismu al-ladhi yadullu ala akthara min shakhsayni mudhakkarayni bi ziyadati wawin wa noonin maftuhatin fi halati al-raf. So the Jam al-Mudhakir al-Salam, the Saud masculine plural, it is an ism, a noun, that indicates more akthar than two people to male things, two male people. It means two, more than two men by having a wow and a noon that is maftuha, a noon that has a fatha at the end in the case of it being marfu. So for example, mudarris, teacher, if we have more than two male teachers, we'll say mudarrisuna, mudarrisuna, with a wow and then a fatha on the noon. Wow and noon with a fatha on the noon. Muslim, Muslimuna. Kafir, Kafiruna. Mudarris, Mudarrisuna. Sadiq, Sadiquna. Kadib, Kadibuna. Wayain, Wanun in Maftuhatin, Fi Halatay in Nasbi, Waljar. So in the case of it being Mansub or being Majroor, then it's going to have a ya and a noon with a fatha added at the end. So mudarris, when the word is mansub or majroor, becomes mudarrisina, mudarrisina. So muslimina, kafirina, kathibina, darisina. Lahiv, an al harf al ladi qabla ya in ya qabla ya al jamai maksur. So notice that in the case of adding a ya at the end. The harf before it is going to be maksur. So it's not mudarrisaini, right, with a fatha. That would mean two male teachers. It's mudarrisina with a kesra to mean a group of female teacher, or of, of male teachers, right? And this is, so when it's marfu, mudarrisuna. When it's majroor, or when it's mansub, mudarrisina. And when it's majroor, mudarrisina. Alamatul i'rabi fi jam al mudakir al salam. The signs of i'rab for the sound masculine plural they are al wawu lil raf, the wow in the state of uh, when the word is marfu. So here, when we if we had the word mudarrisuna and somebody asked you what's the alama, 
what's the sign that this word is mens is marfu? The correct answer would be the wow. Wal ya'u lin nasb wal jar. The ya is the sign of it being as the symbol of its i'rab when it is uh, in the state of being mansub or marfu. So you can say ha'ula'i mudarrisuna. A mubtada and a khabar, both of them marfu. These are male teachers. What's the sign of mudarrisuna being marfu? It's the wow, mudarrisuna. Or I can say ra'aytu mudarrisina. I saw some male teachers. Here, it's mansub. Mudarrisin is mansub because it's the meth'ul bihi. It's the direct object of my verb, ra'aytu. So in this case, we'll say that it's mansub and the sign of it being mansub is the ya. Or we can say, marartu bi mudarrisina. I passed by male teachers. In this case, it's majroor because there's a harf jar, a ba before it. And the sign of it being majroor is the ya. Also in this lesson, they're going to teach you uh, some of the other nawasikh, those things that enter upon a mubtada and a khabar and change their, uh, their i'rab. So here we have kana, asbaha, dhalla, bata, amsa, laysa, ma zala, ma, and ma dama. These tusamma al-af'al al-nasikhata aw al naqisa So these, some people call them the af'al al nasikha the verbs that do uh, naskh, or some of them call them al-af'al al naqisa the uh, verbs that are deficient. Tadkhulu hadhihi al-af'alu ala al-jumal al-ismiyati liyufida kullun minha ma'anan mukhtalifan. So these uh, af'al, the verbs, right, enter upon a a nominal sentence, a sentence made up of a mubtada and a khabar, for each one of them to give its own particular meaning. So, I'll tell you the meanings real quickly. Kana basically means was, but could also mean is as well. You could say, uh, like, you know, in the stories of the Prophet's book that we're reading, you know, you have lots of sentences like kana, Ibrahimu, uh, Kana Ibrahimu waladan rashidan. Ibrahim was a uh, guided wise boy. Asbaha means to become. So you can say uh, Asbaha Muhammadun sallallahu alayhi wa sallam nabiyan. Muhammad became a prophet. Or I can say uh, you became, you started to speak the Arabic language. Valla means to remain, right? We just saw this a minute ago, or it's right here in the explanation. Yadallu marfu'an. It remains marfu. So, valla yadallu to uh, remain. I should give you the mudari of these as well, right? Kana. Is the, the Mahdi, Yakunu, in the Mudari. Asbaha, in the Mahdi, Yusbihu, in the Mudari. Valla, in the uh, Mahdi, and Yadallu, in the Mudari, to remain. Bata and Amsa basically have the same meaning of Asbaha. There's a little bit of a difference, uh, but don't worry about that right now. We can just say they mean to become something. Laysa is for negation. Um, so you, I can say, for example, ليست اللغة العربية صعبة The Arabic language is not difficult. ما زال means to remain in a certain state. So I can say, ما زلنا نقرأ الكتاب الأساسي We continue, we are still reading the الكتاب الأساسي. Don't worry too much right now about the meaning and how you use them. Uh, you'll get used to that by seeing them in usage a lot. But the important thing right now is just to understand the rule of how they work. So they, just like inna wa akhawatuha, they enter upon a, a, a nominal sentence, a mubtada and a khabar. But this time, al mubtada'u ba'daha yadhallu marfu'an. Now the mubtada, it stays marfu' 
ويسمى اسم كان أو ما أو ما زال إلى آخره. The مبتدا it stays مرفوع but now we call it the اسم of كان or the اسم of ما زال or the اسم of أصبح or whatever of the verbs we've used. والخبر ينسب ويسمى خبر كان. The خبر now becomes منسوب. So it's the opposite of إن وأخواتها. إن وأخواتها they enter upon a mubtada and a khabar. They make the mubtada mansub and they leave the khabar marfu. Here it does the opposite. The kana and the other af'al naqisa, the other the other af'al naqisa, they enter upon a mubtada and khabar, but they leave the mubtada marfu and they make the khabar mansub. So you see this a lot in Quran sentences like. كان الله أليما حكيما كان الله عليما حكيما الله is all knowing and all wise Right, so the original mubtada and khabar situation of this sentence before kana came into the picture would have just been Allahu alimun hakimun. Allah, the ism of Allah here would be the mubtada, alimun would be the khabar, and then hakimun would be a second khabar. Now kana comes along, it leaves the mubtada marfu Allahu, it stays like it was, but it changes the khabar and makes it mansub. So alimun becomes alimen, and same for the second khabar. Hakimun becomes hakimen, and now instead of calling this the mubtada, we call it the ism of kana, and we call this the khabar of kana.